I've set up a furnace controls FCO 750 leak detector to do a blockage test. So here we have a piece of tube which is 6.4, so 4 millimeter internal diameter. And we just need to practically set up a test to check whether this tube is blocked or not. I need to just make sure that my regulator is set correctly. You can see that if it isn't, it lets me know. I'll bring that up to around the 950 millibar mark. So we can see 4 millimeter internal diameter tube with no blockage. I've set the regulator at 950 millibar and I'm going to run a test. I can see that the back pressure that I got was 528.6 millibar with no blockage. And I'll run it one more time. And you can see that I get a very similar result. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a restriction into that, which is some four millimeter external diameter tube. And I believe that this has a two millimeter internal diameter. And if I run the test one more time, I can see what the difference is. The back pressure that I can see with the obstruction is 716.7 millibar. Well, that's quite a lot more than the 528 that we saw with no blockage. So what I can do with this information <coughs> is I can go back to the test data and I can go into my test for a blockage and I can put that the maximum pressure that I want to see, so fail high, should be 540 of back pressure, so that is slightly higher than with no restriction with a 4 mil tube. So I should put that in. Come back out. Now when I run a test, if there is a restriction, which there is, the back pressure is too high and it fails. Now I'm going to remove the strict restriction and I get a pass. But the interesting thing about this is not only can I check for a blockage like I just have, but I can also check that a part is in place. So I can check that a blockage or a flow of a certain amount is there. So if I wanted to do it a different way, I put the tube back in, press start, and I get 718.6 millibar. So now, if I want to check that this tube is there, I go back into my test data, and I go to my upper and lower, and on my low fail, well, I'm going to make that 710, and my high fail Seven hundred and thirty. And so with that is done. It's checked that the part is actually in place and has given me a pass. And if I remove it, I get a fail.